there is problem for this is basic if you know the location of the centroid and you know the moment of inertia of a parabola with respect to its centroidal axis. For our symmetrical parabolic plane surface of base B and height H with one face in contact with the liquid at base uppermost, plus with the liquid surface, develop expressions for the force or total pressure, the location of the center of pressure where this force acts, H sub CP, and the moment of this force with respect to the vertical line through its leftmost point and with respect to the bottom. So let's use integration first here because you might not know the location of the centroid, the moment of inertia with respect to the centroid, and even the area of parabola. You're supposed to know that. But to tell you frankly, there are still students who do not know the geometric properties, area, location of centroids of parabola. You're supposed to know that by integration, integral calculus. So assuming you do not know that, but you can apply the principle. So we'll have this strip here. Distance from the bottom is y. So its distance from the top is h minus y. So the, there acts differential force. So of course, the total pressure or the force acts through the center of pressure. And its distance from the top is h sub cp. The pressure here is gamma specific weight times distance h minus y. So gamma times h minus y. Therefore, the differential force is pressure over this differential area, which is constant, times dA. And dA is x dy. So dF is pressure times dA. And remember, differential area, area of the strip, is x times dy. So we begin with dF equals pDA. Replace pressure by gamma quantity h minus y and dA by x dy. So expressing x in terms of y by squared property of parabola, y as to x square equals h as to b square. Expressing x in terms of y, so x is b square root of y over square root of h. Substitute here. So df equals gamma h minus y times b square root of y over square root of h dy. Uh, integrating, so f equals gamma b over square root of h times the integral of h y to the 1 half or h square root of y minus y to the 3 halves from dy. So f therefore is gamma b over square root of h quantity two-thirds of h y to the three halves minus two-fifths y to the five halves from zero to h. So f is gamma b over square root of h, two-thirds h to the five halves minus two-fifths h to the five halves minus lower limit zero. So two-thirds h to the five halves minus two-fifths h to the five halves is 4 over 15 h to the 5 halves divided by square root of h, so 4 over 15 h square. So therefore, f is 4 gamma b h square over 15. So that's the force. Using the formula, f is gamma bar h area, where bar h is 2 fifths of h, and area of parabola 2 thirds base time side, 2 thirds b h. Then if you know that, then it's the same, 4 over 15 gamma b h square, as simple as that, if you know the area and the location of the centroid of parabola. But if you do not know, so that's a big problem. That's not supposed to be a big problem if you know the principle and you, you derive, you use this integral, integration by integration. Then, how about the h sub cp? If you do not know the location of the centroid, then you cannot, you do not know the location of h cp also. So, assuming you do not know, then we have to apply by, apply integration by Varignon's theorem. F times y h sub cp, moment about the top, equals df times h minus y. So, f h sub cp equals df and df, integral of df times h minus y. 
what is df? df is equal to this. f is 4 gamma b h squared over 15. It's sub cp equals integral 0 to h of gamma b over square root of h, then h minus y. Square root of y is written y to the 1 half dy. That's df from this expression here. And the moment arm h minus y. So simplifying, we cancel gamma b and square root of h to the left. So this becomes 4, 4 h to the 5 halves over 15 h sub cp equals the first term in h minus y square is h square times y to the 1 half. So h square y to the 1 half. The second term is negative 2 h y times y to the 1 half. So negative 2 h y to the 3 halves. The last term is y square, y square times y to the 1 half is y to the 5 halves. So integrating the right side, we have h square constant y to the 3 halves over 3 halves or 4 over 15 h to the 5 by h and cp equals 2 thirds h square y to the 3 halves minus 2 times 2 fifths, so 4 fifths h y to the 5 halves plus 2 over 7 y to the 7 halves over 7 is the reciprocal of 7 halves and for others also. So substitute 4 over 15 h to the 5 halves h sub cp equals 2 thirds h to the 7 halves minus 4 over 15 h to the 7 halves plus 2 over 7 h to the 7 halves minus lower limit everything has h to 0. So these are like terms h to the 7 halves divided by h to the 5 halves, so that's definitely h. And the uh, result is 2 thirds minus 4 fifths plus 2 over 7 is equal to 16 over 105 h to the 7 halves. So 15 times 16 divided by 4 times 105 of h, so h sub cp is 4 over 7 of h. So that's the value of h sub cp. 4 over 7. Now, if you use the formula, make sure you know the, look, the moment of inertia with respect to the centroid of a parabola. Do you know it? It's in my lecture video, but I just put it there. But you can derive by integration. It is 8 over 175 bh cubed. So, E sub V is I sub CG over area bar H, the moment of inertia of parabola with respect to the centroid parallel to the base is 8 over 175bh cubed. Then the area of parabola 2 thirds bh. Part h is 2 fifths of h. So 8 over 175 divided by 2 thirds times 2 over 15 will give us 6 over 35 of h. Everything will be cancelled. Remaining is h. Therefore, e sub v is 2 fifths of h plus uh, sorry, h sub cp is 2 fifths of h plus e sub v, which is 6 over 35. So 2 fifths h plus 6 over 35 will give us 4 over 7 of h. So it's the same. But you need to know moment of inertia, area, bar h, or else you will be forced to evaluate by integration. But if you're weak in integration, much more in the memorization. Because if you really can evaluate by integration, you can recall these properties, area, centroid, whatsoever, and moment of inertia because you experienced it. But if you do not experience it, definitely you do not know everything. Even by these mathematical tools by integration, integral Calculus is a very powerful mathematics in deriving formulas. D do not just memorize because you, if you keep on memorizing, you're not understanding the principles. Principles are important, not the formulas. Because if you know the principles, you can set up formulas. Finally, moment about the left force times b over 2 only by symmetry. So 4 gamma b h square over 15 times b over 2. Moment about the left 
line through the leftmost point is two of two gamma b square h square over 15. Then moment about the bottom is force 4 gamma b h square over 15 times 3 over 7 h. 3 over 7 is h minus h sub cp which is 4 over 7. So h minus 4 over 7 is 3 over 7 h, the distance of cp from the bottom. So it is 4 over 35 gamma b h cube. 4 over 35 gamma bh cube. So that's it for this problem.